Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. And I am doing pretty good. But thank you guys for coming once again for another ASMR video. So, a few nights ago, I had this crazy sleep paralysis experience where I was sleeping and my eyes opened and I could not move my body as really at all. I could not move at all and I had weird things happen during that moment and it was pretty pretty terrifying. So I wanted to share this experience to you guys along with ASMR tingles with objects and sorts. So without further ado, let us begin. Alright, so it's time to hear it. It's time for you guys to hear my experience. So, alright. So it was a Monday the 26th of August. I had a really bad sleep. I did not sleep well at all that day. But the night after that, it was a better sleep. Like the night of August 26, like Monday night, I went to bed. So it was a normal. I just like, if you know, if you were wondering what happened today, it was just a work day. I was busy on that Monday, went to work, and came back. Did a few, had to unwind a bit, and went to bed. So, pretty normal day. And I fell asleep rather quickly, because to make up, I have to pay my sleep credit card. You know, when you don't sleep pretty well, if you don't sleep pretty well, you have to kind of make most, make your sleep back or something. So, basically, yeah. If you sleep less, try to get more sleep after that. So, so I slept. Pretty normal. And I woke up. And a dead middle of night. Like, I fell asleep pretty late. Like, past midnight. But I woke up. Like, shortly after. Or so I did. Or so I've done, okay? So, I woke up, my eyes opened. So, I could see, I could see the wall. So, before, before, before I tell you what happens next, I'm going to explain to you the position I was sleeping I was sleeping okay so you see my bed over there you see that bed over there okay so that's where I sleep and 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 you see those posters at the back that's the wall I'm facing so I am facing the wall so if you imagine myself sleeping right now my body would be turned away, my head, my head would be turning away, would be turned away, facing the wall. You see those arcane posters? The, this is an arcane poster, the one with the pink hair and the blue hair haired girl. That's an arcane poster. So, that poster is at the back, that poster at the back, that poster at the back. I could see that poster, so my eyes are opened. And I could, I'm facing the wall, and I can clearly see that poster. And the light that I have right now, it is on right now. You see that red light in the background with the green laser lights? Like the star-shaped lights? That is on in my room. I usually leave it on. I usually leave it on when I sleep. And... I have it set to blue color, so it was blue with green star lasers. It was on, okay, so I could clearly see that. 
but the thing is that I tried to move but I could not move I could not move at all so I was in bed and like I couldn't move I tried to move my hands my body my feet and my arms but I could not move any single inch a single inch I kind of I can't even turn my head my body was kind of frozen it's as if it's as if my mind is awake but my body is still asleep so yeah and I feel pretty helpless I tried to say stuff like hello or something like say whoops or make the noises that I make or something or like oh, try to say something but there's no sound that came out of my mouth no voice had come out like my body was all asleep but my eyes are open that's the only thing I could move I could only see the poster roll my eyes a bit and see the other poster that's right behind me you see that blue poster uh, by the way that poster is just a forest looking upwards to a starry sky okay okay so and by the way this is baby juice t-shirt so it's kind of matching all right look at this that I hear noises. I actually hear my bedroom door creep, o creep open. So I know for the fact that my bedroom door makes a specific creaking noise or something, not a creaking noise, but like a typical door opening noise. And I heard, I heard my bedroom door slowly open. As if someone was trying to come to my room, okay? And so, I assumed it was my mother that comes into my room because she usually comes home from work really late. So, I assume it was my mother, but the weirdest thing is that I feel like there's something off why would she it's very unusual that my parent would check up on me that pretty late because i knew i slept past midnight and that's the same time as my mom would come home from work arrive home but 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 it would be super it is like unusual for my parent to check up on me that's very late because I assume I assume it was like 3 or 4 in the morning when my eyes opened and I couldn't move so there was around that time I'm very unsure I don't know actually because I forgot to check I was very 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 forgetful so so what else happened is that I think I heard a noise and I felt the presence of someone. I felt the presence of someone watching me. Like so after, so I hear the door open and after I heard my bedroom door open, I felt like the presence of someone watching me sleep in my room. So, and I know for the fact that I heard my bedroom door open because the sound was to my left of my body so keep in mind that my head is turned away my head is turned facing the wall it's facing away from the door and I might want to kind of roll over and say hi to my mother okay to my mother 
but I could not move. I can't roll over. And so maybe she just, I assumed that it was my mother to just check on, up on me for a few seconds. But this feeling that someone was in my room, like my mother, it felt like longer because after a minute or so, I still feel a presence. I don't hear the door close back. So I'm expecting my door, my bedroom door to close back and my mother to leave my room. But however, I still feel the presence of someone watching me sleep for more than five minutes or so. Like, I just give this an estimate because it felt like five minutes than 30 seconds. So, like actually five minutes or something or five or six, but it was for really long that I felt this presence and it would be super weird for my parent to come into my room at this late and check on upon me and watch me sleep for five or so minutes, for five to ten minutes. And this is what happened. So like I felt this presence that someone was watching me sleep and the door hasn't been closed back so I did not hear the door close and I assumed that the door was still open and keep in mind keep in mind I could not say any word to say hi to my mother to check up on me and I started to feel really terrified because I've been feeling this presence for much longer for like five more than ten minutes now and I start to feel uneasy really uneasy really uneasy okay so it's weird right well guess what it has not ended there so things have started to become much weirder so after the moment that i felt that someone was watching i felt something else after the 10 or so minutes or five or so minutes i start to feel the left side of my bed like i start to feel a bit of pressure on my left side of my bed and keep in mind that I'm on the far the side closest to the wall so like I if you look at my bed again okay so then my bed is there and there's like two pillows one that's closer to me and one that's further down next to the wall my head is is sitting is on the back most pillow so like I'm on the furthest part of the bed that's like right along the wall and that's why I could only see the wall when my eyes opened so that's the right side of the, my bed where I was where my body was positioned and on the left side of my bed I felt them sort of pressure some sort of subtle pressure that's been exerted that's been applied to the left side as if someone was sitting on the left side of my bed so once again i assumed it was my mother checking up on me okay i was still very 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 confused why it would be my mother like i would be confused that she would be checking up on me and watching me sleep and watching me sleep for 10 minutes straight. And so, and so, I felt this pressure applied that's applied on the left side of my bed. And not only that, I felt the pressure. I also heard it so at the same time I felt the pressure being applied I also heard my bed creak and my pillow the pillow the pillow material like move you know like as if someone was rubbing 
my pillow. I heard the rubbing noise of my pillow, as well as feeling the pressure on the left side of my bed. And yeah, and to, to, to add to that, I also felt pressure on my left pillow, the pillow beside me. So, I felt, I felt some other pressure, like as if someone was trying to sleep with me. So I tried my best, I really tried super hard to move, and I could not move my hands, I could not move my body, I could not move my legs, my feet, my fingers, I cannot even turn my head or roll over, I could only move my eyes, and I've seen nothing but my wall and my lights, and my poster at the back, my two posters that are closest to me in my vision, in my vision, okay, and, and I really, really was terrified, and I was really, 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 really terrified so much that I really want to get out of my sleep. But you were feeling really stuck and my body was like really paralyzed at that moment. So there's the cup. Alright. Okay. So I was super, super terrified and this happened for like another two minutes or so, like a little bit less, but the feeling of someone sitting or lying down next to me was persistent. It lasted for quite a moment. For quite a moment, okay. And after that moment, I felt another sound. But this time, I felt my pillow rub again, and this time, I feel the pressure start to fade away, as if someone is trying to get up from my bed, like someone goes from a sitting position to a standing position, like someone getting off the bed, like from sitting from the left side of my bed to standing up in my room, like, as if someone's supposed to stand up. And I feel that the pressure that used I used to feel on my left side is now gone. And I feel the pillow, I even feel the pillow, the mattress, the pillow, the pillowcase move from like it was it used to have pressure and now it does not have any pressure it's like someone trying to get out of bed from my bed and so in my mind i thought to myself okay maybe my parent is done checking up on me and i'm expecting to hear my bedroom door close and so after a while, I would be expecting my bedroom door to close because I still assume that my bedroom door is still open. But after a few minutes or so, another, after, so like more time passes, but I still don't hear my bedroom door close. And I still assume that my parent is still there watching me, okay? Alright, so, after this moment, after this moment, I start to be able to move like I tried to move, and now I could finally move, I could finally move my body, my hands, my legs, my feet, and my chest and my body, I could finally move my body, including my head, and 
and and and and now I could finally say hi to my parents, to my mother. Okay, so I started to slowly turn over and roll over my bed to face the table. So by the way, the phone I am recording right now is sitting on this table with a light. And and I slowly tried, I slowly rolled over and I would expect to see my mother looking at me and saying goodnight or something like that. But suddenly I don't see anybody. There was no one there in my room and my bedroom door is closed because I assumed it was open, but it was closed as if the door never opened and there was nobody on my left side of my bed and there was nobody else in my room other than me so like I'm the only one there here in this case okay 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 so was a bit relieved but I was a bit like I was a bit surprised to see nobody in my room despite hearing all the sounds I heard while my body was in paralysis and after that I closed my eyes and went back to bed as usual and I slept through the rest of the night which I woke up so after I woke up I woke up around 10 30 to 11 or so and the first thing i've done after waking up after waking up is to ask my mother so i asked my mother if she if she came into my room so i asked my mother did you come to my room have you come to my room and watched me sleep last night and she said no she said that she had never came into my room that night. The night where I felt this terrifying sleep paralysis moment. And so this was one of the weirdest experiences that I have had. And my parent, where my mother never actually came to my room that night. So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this this storytelling style video and I hope you got in your tingles okay if you received your tingles your ASMR tingles or you liked you liked the ones I shared to you please give this video a thumbs up I can, you can't give two but you can give one one at a time it will be greatly greatly appreciated and also I make ASMR fight content from dream imagination videos to gaming ASMR videos all the way to facts telling and coding ASMR videos where I type and create keyboard sounds and that's what I do in this channel so I hope you had an amazing experience and I hope you had a good dream so stay tuned for the next video and I will see you next time.